For astronomers, Omega Centauri has been an outcast amongst globular clusters for a long time. A new result obtained by the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini Observatory provides a surprising explanation for Omega Centauri's peculiarities. Omega Centauri lies in the constellation of Centaurus and is visible from Earth with the naked eye. It's one of the favourite celestial objects for Southern Hemisphere stargazers, appearing almost as large as the full moon when seen from a dark site. Exactly what type of object Omega Centauri is has long been a contentious topic. It was first listed in Ptolemy's catalogue as a single star nearly 2,000 years ago. In 1677, Edmund Halley reported it as a nebula. In the 1830s, the English astronomer John Herschel was the first to recognise it as a globular cluster, a classification that it has kept ever since. Omega Centauri has several characteristics that separate it from other globular clusters. Compared to a run-of-the-mill globular, Omega Centauri has a highly flattened shape, it rotates faster, and it includes several generations of stars, which is an unusual feature for globulars, which normally contain only a single generation of old stars. Moreover, Omega Centauri is almost 10 times more massive than other globular clusters, almost as massive as a small galaxy. Now, new images obtained with the Advanced Camera for Surveys on board the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope and data obtained with the GMOS spectrograph at the Gemini Observatory show that Omega Centauri appears to be harboring an elusive intermediate mass black hole at its center. The black hole was discovered after astronomers measured the motions and brightnesses of stars at the center of Omega Centauri. They found that these stars were moving much faster than expected given their total number and brightness. Such behaviour clearly indicates the existence of something extraordinarily massive at the centre of the cluster. The intense gravitational field of a black hole with a mass of 40,000 solar masses provides just the kick necessary to explain the measurements. One implication of this discovery is that it is very likely that Omega Centauri is not a globular cluster at all but rather some kind of dwarf galaxy that has been stripped of its outer stars and dark matter, as some scientists have suspected, for a few years. More than 2,000 years after Omega Centauri was wrongly classified as a star, its true nature is finally coming to light. But I wonder, does Omega Centauri have more surprises in store for us? This is Dr. J, signing off for the Hubblecast. Once again, nature has surprised us beyond our wildest imagination.